Good morning everybody, happy Sunday! How's everybody doing? Hope you're all having a fabulous weekend so far. Um, so yeah, it's Sunday morning and well I've been very busy this morning. Also I have just washed and dried my hair but I've not straightened it so if you see these stupid little curly bits, that's why. Um, so this morning I've been really busy. I got up early this morning because I couldn't sleep. Someone may or may not have been snoring. And I have like meal prepped for the week. So I'm not doing the thrive anymore. I've got one plant hood meal left to do, but I have like, let me show you, ignore the beer. So up here, there, that's like, it's roasted sweet potato. There's roasted carrots and this is all organic. I am that person now. Giant couscous, um, roasted tender stem broccoli. Roasted chickpeas. Uh, then there's some um, kale. Hi, doll. Hi, darling. I'm spotting the autumn wear today. It's freezing. <laughs> it is. It's freezing today. <laughs> um, what else is in here? Because I'm forgetting. Oh, there's roasted tofu. There is. What else is in there, Don? I said it was full. It's chocker. And then I've made this kind of like tahini, peanut buttery, soy, garlic dressing to tip on when we've heated it up at work. Um, so yeah, I've been busy doing that this morning and we are now just having a cup of tea, aren't we? Yep. My man slave is making a cup of tea. You're not my man slave, that's a joke. It's supposed to be a joke, but it's not very funny. And we're just gonna have some kind of breakfast and we are off out this morning, aren't we Bucko? Yep. So Dan has bought a, what is it? It's a um, terracotta? Yeah, a strawberry planter. Yeah, like an old fashioned one for in the garden somewhere. It's the start oh. of the uh, garden project for yeah. homegrown. Women are cottage court era I think, aren't we? Yeah. Old lady and old man era. This kind of stuff like we wouldn't have jumped to do in. Ten years ago, really, would we? Five years ago. Five years. Two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> now we're growing our own herbs. We've got tomatoes growing. We're planting raised beds in the garden for more veggies. We're all organic and plant-based. Who are we? You know Who it are started, these people? It all started with two little tomato plants. It did. <laughs> and they look amazing. Yeah. So we're just going to make some toast and then we are off on a drive with the pooches. We're leaving the kids at home. Young Two. Adults, not kids. What? Young adults. Yeah, the kids. young adults. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, at least 17. She and a friend are here. They were at a concert last night in Leeds. So we were on taxi and duty. So we, we had a date night out, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Might have had something to eat and a few cocktails. Non alcoholic. We were good, weren't we? Yeah. Do you know what? I just realised something as well this morning. So we we ate in Las Iguanas mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. some of the cocktails that they do are two for one. So you were having the mocktails, weren't you? Because you were driving. Yeah. I The first drink I had was a margarita that weren't part of the deal, that's fine. And then I had two of this, it's like a, I can't remember what it was now, but it's a type of vodka and then Mexican lime soda. And I had one, <clears throat> poured my, I wanna say tonic, it's not. Poured my lime soda in, drank it. And then when I came to do the second one, I thought because it, it they brought the glass full of ice and it was a while before I actually got to have it. And I thought that, Dan, you'll find this really funny. I thought when I tipped all that water out, I'm like, look at all this ice that's melted. It were actually a vodka. Oh. <laughs> I tipped the vodka out, oh, no. thinking it was melted ice. But I left it all anyway, because that's when we left to go meet Elise and Loza. So, so that happened. So we're just gonna have a little bit of sourdough toast, and I'm just gonna put some peanut butter on it, and some sliced bananas, and maybe a sprinkle of chai seeds to have with our quick cup of tea that Bucko's made. And then we are off to, where is it? Scunthorpe. Yeah, and then uh, there's a leech. We're going to Scunthorpe to get the thing. And then because we're over that way, we are going to have a little walk on Hazel Foreshore with the dogs and just get some Humber air Bridge. in our gills. Yeah, around Humber Bridge and all that. We went, 
When was it we went before? It was New Year's Eve, weren't it? Because yeah, we, well, it, yeah. it ended up being... And why were we even there? Did we we just went out, didn't we, for... Uh, I've got nothing there, anything to do with it. Just something with dogs, dogs and that, weren't it? And we ended up at that nice pub that got we really did. good reviews. We did. It turned out being a lovely day, didn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because we left just as it were getting dusk. Yeah. And it were cold. Oh, and you've been out this morning, aren't you? And you said it's so windy and it's so cold. Yeah. And what's the date today? It's like middle of August, isn't 17th, it? 17th, 17th of August. Is it 17th? I think so. 16th, 17th, something like that. And it's turning really cold. And um, our tomatoes are going orange and red in parts now, aren't they? Yeah. Doing good? Not now. So anyway, we're going to get some toast and then we are hitting the road. Frizz bomb today, I've realised. I've just got my little bum bag that I'll be wearing shortly, full of inhalers and dog treats and everything. And Dan's just saying how it's warmed up from earlier. So I think we're still going to take our warm coats, but hopefully, it won't need them. And we are still in the courtesy car. Mine is still in the shop being fixed. Don't know when getting that back. This way, dogs. Where's Dolly gone? She's there, look. She's waiting to go in. Oh, whoa, whoa, Dolly. Whoa, Dolly come on, this way. <laughs> right, I need my walking shoes. Giving out. Oh my god, they're covered in grass from my last little adventures. See how grassy these are? Mm. Very Thomas. <laughs> Dolly, that was a good jump. Are you excited? What? What? Alright. Oh. Is it dirty? Not that it matters. I'm just going to make yours even mucky now. Not like the walking shoes. No, but you'll end up putting your foot in it and be full of grass and stuff. I forgot everything that you think. Yeah, and more. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to grass it already. Come on, say it's dark. Yes, big dog. <laughs> they're excited, aren't they? They don't even know what's happening or where they're going. We could be taking them to the slaughterhouse for all they know and still excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I know though when they're not your best, isn't it? Can she sense it? Hi doggies! Hi Sash! Why do you look so miserable? Oh, what's the matter? Is it because we said vets? We're not going to vets, it's okay. We're not going there. Got some goodies for the dogs are on the way. We've got some tribe sticks, yeah. What's with these dogs? What's with these? Want some chewies? Right, I'll kind of put this in without you like jumping out. Wait there, wait there. Oh, what's this, Sash? One for Sasha? One for Dolly? Yeah, doll. There you go. Can you give it? No? <laughs> Not bothered. <laughs> you will suddenly when you think there's a competition, won't you? Right, let's get in. Check out my courtesy cowboys and girls. It's actually, funny story, but this car is actually really growing on us, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Um, when I first got this car, 
I just absolutely crapped my pants because I'm like, it's a manual gearbox. And I'm so used to driving an auto and I'm like, what am I gonna do? I could really do with setting my tripod down somewhere while I get my seatbelt on. Let me just get my seatbelt on and we shall resume talking. So when I first got this car and I didn't have any time to explore it or figure it out, I just had to get in one morning and off to work. In fact, it was like he, he actually brought it in the morning, didn't he? Yeah. Before I was going to work, so. Monday morning. And it can't have been a Monday because they were a meeting. Yeah, oh, okay, Um, And it was supposed to be here for like eight o'clock, but it was a bit later, so I was a bit late to work at that day, which was fine because I knew I was getting a courtesy car dropped off, so. But it meant that I just had to like get in the car and go and kind of figure it out whilst I were driving, which is probably not the best. But no, you had a little play around, I know. You had a little play around, oh, I've not put me the coat in, I've just realized. I'll be fine, I'm sure. It's really warm, this. Baby. Um, you had a little play around, didn't you, the other day, because you had to move the car. And whilst he was in it, he's like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? So we figured out it's got Apple Play. <laughs> so we're just getting set up for going. What are we on? Ways. Yeah. Wazzy. But it's a right little motor, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. And you're loving it's brand that name. it's brand spanker. I am the first person to have it as a courtesy vehicle. You're just really enjoying driving the manual, aren't you? Yeah. Like a little go kart. So we are off to Scunthorpe. Right See you there. Are we getting a Starbucks? Yeah, if you don't get your car. <laughs> okay. Daniel. You are a naughty boy. Taste it. So we're in Scunthorpe, aren't we? Yeah. And that was called Central Park. Yeah. It's massive. It's huge. It's a gorgeous little place. We've got toilets, there's a cafe, there's lots of people walking the dogs, there's a fountain, there's kids, bouncy castle and slide, there's uh, things for big kids, big adventure, play, zip line and stuff. You all right? Walk, park on woodland. Yeah, they were like a bug. Walked after. Like bug hotel, nature zone. Walked around under loads of trees. It was amazing and the dogs really enjoyed it as well. Now we have just found a Starbucks drive through. Wait, Straight was it gone? Road. Straight over the road. I don't know if you can see it, it's the other side of the dam at the moment. She's a look, Starbucks lady. We are mainly going because Dan needs to use the facilities and we thought rather than going to the public ones in the park we'll just come to Starbucks and use theirs for free instead of chucking 20 pence in another one. Is that where the saying comes from? To spend a penny? It's a bit, yeah. We'll have to spend Google that. Spend 20 at Starbucks instead. <laughs> and now we're home and now I'm just about to make us some lunch. Yo. Yo, you all right? Mm -hmm. So I bought these the other day from Tesco's and these are plant-based and they look delicious. Here they are. 
So I'm going to make these up with some salad and some chickpeas and I've got some tahini dressing left so this is lunch for Dan and I today. Whilst Jesse is making himself some homemade chips. see what we think. Have you tried yours yet, Dan? Your dinner, what do you think? Mm. That dressing's really nice, isn't it? Mm. It might be mixed in. There's not many. Wow, that's spicy. <coughs> yes, is your man. I'll leave the recipe, the link below. Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I have rushed home from work today because I was supposed to be having a at-home meeting with a bathroom company to like measure up and you know do some plans for us because we want into wow what is the light in this house it's all or nothing isn't it we are wanting to do our ensuite so we've asked a company to come around and they were supposed to be here at six and it's now 25 past six and there's no sign of them so who knows if they're gonna turn up or not but in the meantime uh i've got jesse in the house and two of his friends upstairs so i need to be careful what i'm filming because i don't want to get anyone on film who doesn't need to be on camera but what am i doing dan's actually out tonight he's away with work staying away in i want to say leicester but i could be totally wrong could be making that all up um so yeah i'm just having to think about what i'm actually gonna cook myself for tea tonight um gonna have a look on the deliciously ella app thing for a bit of inspiration and there was something else i wanted to tell you what else were i going to tell you so i don't know how much of this i can actually talk about right now because one the bathroom people may still turn up and i might have to just like abandon this conversation two Jesse and his bods might end up coming downstairs and I might have to abandon this conversation. But something is bothering me and I really need to talk about it and I really need to like voice this, this feeling I've got about YouTube. I've got some qualms, okay? So get yourself a drink and I get comfy because I'm going to get into it with you and i want to know what everybody thinks about this in fact i want to get myself comfy i'm gonna come and sit down and hold the camera steady and i've got my phone with me because i'm watching the street outside because 
your girl lives in hope that these um, people might turn up. I'm going to have to sort this curtain out here in front of me. So, this is what I need to talk about. And I hope the light's okay. So, hmm. Right, now don't get me wrong, because I don't want to... I'm not bashing anybody for this, but I follow people myself on YouTube. Obviously, that's what got me in the first place. And I, this, there's this one YouTuber in particular that I'm referencing to when I'm talking about this. I'm not going to name who they are or their channel or anything because I know lots of different YouTubers are, are older than this. Is this is not one particular YouTuber? It's others. Sash. So, this YouTuber who does lots of videos, she does wellness, she does nutrition, like things she's learned herself that she just talks about. And I love listening to what she's got to say because I know that she's put a lot of thought and research into what she talks about, which for me personally, I love that because she's done hard work and I learn from watching her videos and she inspires me and <laughs> hi hi babe excuse me that's enough now but in a video that i was watching of it she has done the six weeks to becoming the best version of yourself kind of series so over six weeks she's doing things like that we're gonna write this down so i could talk about it with you and be more like more you know precise with what i'm saying off memory it was things like to not go on a phone between like before 9 a.m or after 9 p.m not to be on your phone when you're eating meals but then she goes into things like so she's got a little dog and she is a full-time youtuber she doesn't need to be out the house at like 7 30 or 8 a.m in the morning she doesn't have children at home she has a partner a fiance who works often time works out of this country she talks about trying to get in 10,000 steps a day how walking outside with the dog is really important for the dog but for herself for mental health for fitness being in nature she talks about nutrition and how she wants to get certain foods in a diet. If I remember to do this when I'm editing, I will try to compile a list of what she talks about in this particular video and I'll list it here so you can see it because like I say, my, my memory is sort of failing me right now. But what I wanna talk about is how one, she absolutely inspires me and she's making me realize that I also could do with being, I'm trying to be really careful about what I say here. I want to be a better version of myself. I want to get 10,000 steps in a day. I would like to walk my dogs three times a day. I would like all of these other things. But the reality is, because I live a very different life to hers, I'm out of the house for eight, nine hours, no, it's about nine hours a day. I don't wanna preach it because I know that this community of women, we are all in a similar kind of boat. We're all mums and we work, etc., etc. So I know that I'm in the right kind of company here. But the thing is, is like, whilst I love her and she inspires me and I'm listening to everything she says and I really want to be more like that myself. I can't help but feel bad. Like it's making me feel like I'm not good enough. And then I get angry. And when I get angry, I know that anger is like a secondary emotion and it's actually something else. What's the first, what's the primary emotion? The primary emotion there is Am I jealous? Am I resentful? It is kind of hard to articulate, but she doesn't have to be out of the house at 7.45 every morning and doesn't get home on nearly 6 p.m. on a night and have to try to spend time with your child, with a spouse, cook healthy food. I've got a house I've got to try and keep clean and tidy. Loads of laundry that I have to do. Granted, it's only like, grabbing it and shoving it in the washer but then it's like remembering it's like fitting in the moving from the washer to the dryer and then folding it and putting it away don't get me wrong dan helps he does things even jesse he does things and he helps but nevertheless even so the amount of things 
to do in my short amount of time that I'm at home is beginning to feel almost impossible because I've not even accounted for in this conversation. I'm also trying to build and establish a YouTube channel. So the time filming, the time editing, oh my God, the hours it goes into editing. And it's coming, I'm gonna get there because my God, am I gonna make it happen? So don't worry about that, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, what am I saying? <laughs> I would like to insert here for you um, a screen grab of my weekly calendar. What do you call it? I have blocked out time that I'm sleeping, time that I'm at work, and time that I'm driving to and from work. And then I also block out any other commitments that I've got, so appointments I've got or plans that I've made for anything else just to sort of show how little time I have and other people such as myself. And I just want other YouTubers to know, content creators, people who are doing this and being really successful, that talking about how to be the best version of you and trying to do so much when you've got all day, every day, because you're earning from this to do it, like, please, can we be a bit more mindful about people who are out the house for nine hours a day? And I know people who are out the house for even longer than that sometimes, like nurses and shift workers, doctors, etc., etc. you know, the other occupations. Like, can we please stop making us feel bad for God's sake? I would love to do that. We all would. We all would. But it's just not, it's not practical. If we work full time and or, you've got family and or you've got a house it's, it's just it's just impossible that said would anybody be interested in seeing my version of what she talks about so the the list that i put on before but for somebody like me <laughs> who has zero time to do all these things and how i can try to make that work would anyone find that interesting <laughs> like the same kind of thing but from a completely different perspective let me give you an idea so i've got an app on my phone it's in it's in the apple health app thingy and yesterday i was just like laying in bed as i was sort of getting snoozy ready for falling asleep and i was just going through the health app and there's a part where it sort of goes over time in daylight now <laughs> It said 14 minutes. Now before you start thinking, oh my God, only 14 minutes in daylight all day. That's ridiculous, that's terrible, Rach. How do you manage? Let me tell you, I don't even think that we're right. And I'll tell you why. Because yesterday, the only time that I was physically outdoors was I walked from my front door to my car. I give that 10, 15 seconds. Then from car to the door at work, that might be 20, 25, maybe 30 seconds. It's a little bit further distance. Then I stayed in at lunch, at my lunch at my desk, because I only get 30 minutes. So you've literally got time to eat and that's it. No time for like a little walk or anything like that. I could have a little walk, but I can't eat at the same time. So, you know, what do I do? Do I eat or do I walk? So then at the end of the day, I walked from office door, to car, so 20, 30 seconds walking back, and then drove home, and then from car door to front door, so about another 10 seconds. I didn't go in the garden yesterday. So the reason I'm telling you this part is because whilst 14 minutes sounds like not very much at all, 14 minutes yesterday would have been an absolute pipe dream. I think realistically, my time outdoors yesterday would have been more like two minutes at an absolute max. So, YouTubers and content creators, you know who you are. Let's stop talking about your three hour and a half long dog walks a day, please. Because it almost triggers me. It almost, I'm really struggling to find the words to kind of say how it makes me feel. I hope that you understand what I mean though, because like I say, we, the community that we are here, albeit a small community. We are a community, nonetheless. And I do get the impression that we are mothers and working mothers as well. Please let me know if I'm wrong or if I'm right there. I mean, that's certainly my personal target audience. This is who I am trying to reach out to 
um, when I create my content and my videos that is when, when I'm thinking what video can I do in my mind that is who I'm doing the video for so that would be nice if you could just drop me like a little message and let me know if I'm somewhere close with that one. <laughs> the list of things that she does and she's going to do them every day for six weeks to try and prove herself and her life and the way she feels is not realistic. It's not a realistic expectation of many people in society. Am I wrong? I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure most people work a job out of the house and have kids. I've got three bathrooms in this house, okay? It might take me a good 20 minutes to clean a toilet properly and do it thoroughly. Hmm, but I've got three, so that soon becomes an hour just scrubbing bugs. Do you know what I mean? Mm. When you see my block calendar, that's what it is, I think. It's like I, I literally have to block my calendar in the way that you do like a school timetable almost. Like block out like this section here is maths. I'm not doing science when I'm in maths. It's the same sort of thing. I'm at work during this time and I can't do anything else during that time. So when you block out time that I'm sleeping, time that I'm at work or driving to work and back, that doesn't leave much time left at all. And if you're telling me that I've got to do all these things to be a better version of myself and live a really fulfilling, healthy, happy life in like squeezed into this time well one i'm not even sure that that's even doable and if it's doable how worthwhile is it doing something if i have to either rush it or cut it really short i hope you understand what i'm trying to say here it's just got me feeling I, honestly i don't know how i feel it i do feel kind of angry about it because i'm like you are almost telling us that this is what I should be doing with my time. And I am my own worst critic as it is. Like, I don't need anyone else to make me feel like shit as a mum. Like, because I do that myself. I can quite easily sit and pick out my own flaws and mistakes I've made and blah, blah, blah. Maybe that's one for another day, for another video. Let's talk about all the things that us mums do that are shit, that we hate, that we regret, but you know, we don't get no guidebook, so we're just doing the best we can. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested to see, and let's open that discussion up. It's been tough. It's made me feel really kind of like... It's upset me, in a way. Not like to the point of like crying or anything, but it's, it's upset me because I'm like... I'm trying my hardest to show up for work and do my job well. To be a mum and do that well. To be a wife and do that well. To be a dog mum and do that well. Everything else that we're supposed to do. Keep my house, keep the clothes clean, keep social calendar up. See my mum, see my dad, because they're separate so it's not like I could go to one house and see them both there. They're in two houses, 20 miles apart. So it's a day with one, it's a day with another. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, I just felt I needed to kind of get that off my chest and it's not because I'm trying to bash anybody, it's not that. It was just more, you know, like, cut us some freaking slack. Now last week, I think I went eight days between hair washes because I put everything else and other people before my own needs. I am going to have a shower and I am going to wash my hair. Like, that is an absolute five-star resort all-inclusive holiday to people like me. Or new mums. Or single mums who don't have a partner. So, <clears throat> I could keep going on about this and I'm not going to. I think you probably will know what I mean anyway and I think you can probably gauge how this is making me feel. Deal. It would be nice if, if you wouldn't mind, just drop me a little comment here and let me know if you've ever felt this same kind of thing. I think also this is a one of the reasons why I felt this absolute compulsion in me. Is that the right word? To start a YouTube channel because I was watching people, people who don't work full-time jobs, where they're just content creators and this is all they do. They've got all the time in the world to do what they want, when they want. I was sat watching these videos. It just really makes me feel like frustrated because they'll be talking like, oh, I was up all night doing this. I'm like, 
fuck off. Let's do the working mum version where we like cram it into like 35 minutes at the end of every day that I may have to myself if I'm lucky. So that's that. I'm sorry if I went off on a little bit of a moan there, a little bit of a tangent. There's no point talking to like Dan about it because he doesn't get it in the same way. I think this has got to be a woman to woman sort of conversation. This has got to be a mother to mother conversation. This has got to be a working mum or a single working mum kind of conversation. So if what I've just said makes any kind of sense to you, please leave me a note, let me know your thoughts and I'll take it from there, really. I'll bring you whatever you want me to bring, but it would be nice to know if you agree with me or you've had the same kind of thoughts about it. And it would be nice to know if that is why you are here with me. So anyway, it's now 7 p.m. The bathroom people haven't shown up so a little bit disappointed about that and when i say a little bit i am really toning that down because i've just been and wiped the bathroom down for them but anyway so yeah i'm just going to have a little looky look on the deliciously ella website and just have a look if there is anything, anything yummy that i could make i have a colleague at work she grows um courgettes well, she grows all sorts, but she's got so many courgettes. She's bringing them into work. And I've got tons. And I could do with sussing a recipe that's quick, easy, tasty, where I can use them up. So that is what I'm going to do now. Guys, I never told you either. So after Dan's birthday, when I got in the Stanley cup, the big black one, um, he actually went on Amazon on his birthday and he ordered me one because he just loved it so much and he knew that I'd said a cheap Amazon fakey. I think he felt a bit bad for me. So we went on and he bought me one. So I have my very own Stanley Cup. I'm a proud Stanley mama. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was fine with the other one. Like, I know I sort of joked, like, mm, I've only got a fake one or whatever, but it was fine. It did the job. <gasps> also, can we talk about how basic bitch season is almost upon us pumpkin spice latte already out at starbucks yes i had one on the first day that they came out you can bet your ass i did but it was a iced one because it was like 30 degrees but yeah hug season and hoodies and yeah um so i love that kind of stuff and for some reason it's referred to as like basic bitch so okay i'm a basic bitch and proud who's with me I love being a basic bitch. Like, who wouldn't want to be a basic bitch? Like, what's the opposite of being basic? Like, extra? Like, who's got time for that? So, yeah. Basic bitch season is here. Oh, anyway, I wanted to show you what I think I'm going to cook today. And I've just found... So, on the Deliciously Ella app, I just typed in at the top. Let me show you. So, I just typed at the top. If you can see, I just put courgette and we did a little searchy searchy and I'll show you. So then it comes up with all the recipes. So I was just having a little look. What looks tasty and easy, what I could do. And so there's courgette pasta there. That looks all right, that one. And a 15 minute. Oh, what else was there? Oh, the other one I was thinking was... <clears throat> that one the roasted courgette pesto pasta which one should i do i actually fancy pasta so as long as it's got pasta in it or maybe we just do like a suck it and see just like chuck a load of stuff in a pan and hope for the best
this bottle. But I'm gonna fill it with all this crap. So I've got plenty for lunch tomorrow and excuse the mess because I'm gonna clean it up after I've eaten. Guys, I've just messed up. So I've just finished my tea and I've just come into the kitchen <laughs> to fetch my dishes and look. It started raining and I've left the door open and it's just flooded inside with water. Dinner was absolutely delicious. And I'm glad I've got some left to have tomorrow. Um, it also had mushrooms in it. You would have seen me putting the mushrooms in that. I do not like mushrooms whatsoever. I've never liked them, but because I know that they're really, really good for me now, and not just because my mum told me, um, I'm trying uh, really hard to try and get them into my diet more. So I added, I think it was about three of those organic mushrooms and um I, I just added loads of red onion because i just and garlic and everything else because i just really hope to like not really taste the mushroom flavor but i'm hopeful that i will get there at some point and be able to eat mushrooms a lot easier it's just the flavor of them i've never ever really enjoyed anyway i need to so this out <laughs> before someone has a wushdi. So see how well this monster. Oh my god, I have to get the big guns out. Oh no, what a mess! This is hard to do one-handed as well. Oh my god, that's like flooding. Oh no, I'm squirting the stuff. Oh, what a nightmare! I didn't even know it was raining that much. There we go, so that'll do, it'll dry I think, soon. So now I am just gonna, oh look at that, so wet on the inside. Okay, so now I am going to clear up the mess from dinner, put the pasta that's left away, and it has also just dropped really cold, and I think I'm gonna, make a cup of tea and Jesse and his buddies are still here and um, Jesse wasn't hungry to have anything before but now it's a bit later. What time are we on actually? It's just gone eight o'clock so I've got a feeling they might be hungry soon if not already so I might just order a piece for the uh, Jesse and his friends while they're here. Just a little treat for them and yeah so well, let's get cleaned up.
just been out and walked the dogs. I was literally kind of 10 minutes. What's, it? What's happening? There we go. Still thinks I'm walking. I'm just getting an extra couple of seconds in there. But if you can see, it's already getting dark outside. And it is it's 10 to 9. The mood lights are on. Actually, on camera, they look really quite white and bright. But in actual... In my eye light, they're quite a warm uh, light colour. Excuse the bedding that's been washed. That's the, the second set. So my bed's made, don't worry. Um, so I've made a cup of tea. I actually made this before I went out. Um, but I have... <gasps> I've made it too full, like an idiot. Mm. I actually really wish that I had some sort of vegan or plant-based cookie i'm really sort of craving like a chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin cinnamon cookie i said it at the weekend because i kind of hoped i would bake some i think i've got everything that i need to make them and keep them plant-based but we we had quite a busy weekend this weekend we were outside they've in Leeds for release and then went out with Bo and his girlfriend Sunday so yeah it was pretty busy so busy doing life things with family and the, the babies I call them babies even though they're you know, the adults let me just stop my workout on my watch it's bleeping away at me so yeah the kids are always called the babies um but yeah so I now I've put friends on I'm just gonna kind of sit and chill with that have my cup of tea and you might be pleased to know this focus is just doing its own thing i think because it's like getting darker on the night it's um struggling to focus but yeah uh, you might be pleased to know that i am on a tuesday night sat doing a spot of editing so you never know i might have another video coming up soon this weekend and that's it so for tonight what is it so this is Tuesday night and I'm just gonna stop this vlog. I'm just gonna spend my evening just doing this. I've ordered pizza for Jesse and his friends. In fact, it's here now. So I'm gonna go let the pizza guy in and I will catch up with you lovely lot tomorrow. So good night, I'll see you soon.